Another project we did is um, the food bar in Stockholm for Matthias Dahlgren. It was one of two restaurants in the Grand Hotel, food bar and the Metzala and the dining room, which was the more fine dining one. First of all, the starting point was good because our client really believed in the power of interiors and trusted us to interpret his philosophy in food um, and take that into three dimensions because he understood that while he might be making the most amazing food, that for people to fully understand it, they needed to feel it on all the other levels to experience it, essentially. So it's really a food bar, it's very convivial, it's got a strong materiality, but also a strong sociability. It really is um, something that enhances well-being. It brings you together, it connects you to each other, connects you to him and his um, intelligence. Um, it certainly makes you more aware of the food. There was a moment where we had one of our few um, discussions around a few 16th century blackboard tables that we wanted to include. And they were a touch wobbly. And he was quite worried about that because obviously chefs are very concerned about everything being perfect. And we just said, well look, for a month, let's just try it. Shall we just give you a few words to say to people when they sit down at this table and basically said look this table is it's a blockboard table it's been around for 400 years and thousands of meals have been eaten on this table and that's the connection really to Matthias and the roots of his food and after that everybody wanted those tables so I think the power of an interior to um, amplify um, and express um, the life mm. the content of a place, a brand, is huge and so often underestimated, so often, especially in um, very commercial, corporate situations, it's, it's hugely underestimated. And you know, it's understandable. I think you have quantity surveyors, you have project managers and so on who need to get things in on time and on budget, but what you end up with is a world with no identity that's absolutely uninhabitable.